Hey y'all, welcome in. This is Dynasty Mode, the unofficial EA Sports College Football Game Podcast. Our Ar- cliche is my name. That is Dimitri. Dimitri, you are begging to say something, so go I, ahead, I, ruin the show. I am because this is only for our viewers on YouTube, but it it does need to be pointed out. Hey y'all is a very folksy greeting when the background is Minnesota at Northwestern this week. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You don't see a lot of uh, like pre med students saying "Hey, y'all." No, not a lot of uh, no. I mean, certainly not at Northwestern. You know, the the Medill uh, Media School. They are oh, they'll be dead in the ground before they say "Hey, y'all." What about no? No one rowing the boat, going "Hey, y'all." This boat needs to be rowed, y'all. I mean, it does. Like Minnesota feels like the kind of place that could adopt y'all very easily. You just don't see it. Yeah, they went accent versus words, right? Like, like you, you could very easily see y'all being in a thick Minnesota accent. Oh, sure. Uh, my um, wife's now former uncle, uh, because he uh, divorced her aunt. Um, oh, deep, intimate details. Okay, I was I was twenty five, twenty six. Uh, and he had come down to help us move some stuff out of her mom's house while her mom was sick. And at one point it's just the two of us in the car and he starts making fun of me saying y'all. Um, Mm -hmm. so, uh, imagine the awkward car ride when a 26 year old tells a 52 year old to go fuck himself. Hmm. Now I'm not, I, 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 there's something I want to say, but first I'm imagining it. So hold on. Yeah, go ahead. I can see some awkwardness there. Also, he's a, uh, I believe, still active uh, Marine uh, or Marine mm-hmm. Reservist, and I am me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So understand how many times or how long this ribbing had gone on before I was finally like, you know what? I don't care if he pops my head off with his thumb. This I was happening. hoping when you started the word, he is now an active, and you were going to end it with alcoholic. <laughs> and then, <laughs> Oh, Arky, to be fair, I think he was always that. Boom, you yep. got me. That's that was right. a for those who were not watching, I was doing the finger gun to Dimitri Ravanos. I, Dimitri, I we appreciate gotta... Arky that you have a pistol that requires cocking um on your finger. That tells me you put safety first. Oh, of course, of course. I, I didn't make the click noise to take the safety itself off and then to uh, for the cocking and then of the cl- unclipping right. of the said one single round that I was able to get out there. But, you know, maybe I get me one of these bump stocks from my finger, then <laughs> never know. <laughs> uh, Dimitri, we have ourselves uh, a pretty interesting episode on this year's podcast. By the way, next week's episode is going to be a lot of fun. We've got even more details about the game that has come out uh, through some reporting. And I don't even think the person who has reported it knows that he has given news news out of this. That's how interesting I think some of this is. So get ready for episode 21 ahead of time. But in the meantime, episode 20 is going to be a bit boring. So no one listen anymore. Thank you. Um, I don't even think we should do it, to be honest with you. Uh, Arky, I have been saying this since, uh, honestly, week one. <laughs> you were way down as soon as we started building the graphics for the show of stopping the show. Ar- Arky, I I like to view it as being ahead of the curve. <laughs> you, uh, ahead of the curve. <laughs> when did that show shut down? Way before it should have. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so, what we, one of the things that's interesting about this game through all the reporting that we've done on it um, is that there are still some, let's just say, less than clear language about what systems this game will be offered on when it comes out in the year 2023 of our dear Lord Jesus Christ. Now, Mm. here's the thing that I think is compelling about that is that I have a newer Xbox. Okay. Okay, so that's an Xbox Series SC. Not quite sure the wife bought it for me. When I was basically done gaming, like once I didn't have an NCAA 14, I was like, what's the point, right? (laughs) Am I just going to go... Go like you know, pretend I'm in World War II. Like, no, that's not fun for me. Like, I, I mean... it's so it's so funny you say that because my wife was like, "Do you want a PS4 for Christmas one year?" Uh, I was like, "No," and she said, "You like video games?" I said, "Well, I like my college football video game," <laughs> and she was listing all these titles that like her her friends' husbands play, and my exact words to her, Arky, is, "What am I going to do? Pretend to kill fucking Hitler?" 
<laughs> oh man, I guess that's why we're still doing the show for at least two more episodes. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's, so <laughs> that's true. We promised in twenty one. We can't shut it down now. <laughs> right. We've already scheduled the guests. Right. Um, so what is fascinating about that is that you know it, it's a newer Xbox. It's not the three hundred and sixty. Clearly, it's a newer Xbox. But technically, by the time this game comes out. It's a little bit of an older Xbox, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the PS4, as you were alluding to, almost getting before you uh, decided not to kill Hitler. That's on you, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <well>. Um, <laughs> the damage is, is done. Who am I to take all this responsibility now? <laughs> it's now turned into a PS5 generation. Uh, and we don't even know about other systems that it might be beyond. So there is a legitimate concern for how far back the technology will be able to go. Because remember, some games you could... You used to be able to play 360 games on like... Mm -hmm. uh, or Xbox games on a 360. Some of them were backwards compatible. And then even for, I think, a generation or two further, they were still a little backwards compatible, but they stopped doing that uh, for, for the most part, uh, which is why my NCAA 14 does not work in my current Xbox. Um, and, Dimitri, let's, let's be frank... There are supply issues. Okay? There are big time supply <laughs> issues. There, we have a massive game about to be launched next summer. And I don't know if there are people like us that have sort of fallen out of gaming because college football was sort of our jam. Mm -hmm. Like who had just not gotten the system or even Dimitri, those who may have to upgrade systems that they like now just to be able to play this game. Arky, can I uh, can I break a little news here? Oh my God! Okay, I don't I don't have the sound effect. No, but that's, I that's am fine. very I'm very willing to do it with my mouth. Are you ready? Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Breaking personal news for all of the reasons you have just laid out, Arky. I pulled the trigger last week and bought a PS5. Dimitri Leviticus Ravanos mm -hmm, mm -hmm. bought himself a P you got a PS you got a head of this thing oh my I, I Dimitri, did it's August now here is here are the things so I have read a lot of articles about not just supply chain issues as it comes to video games but also like look COVID backed up the supply chain for a lot of things right like at this point Sony has sort of acknowledged that they would be foolish to be thinking about a PS6 because they can't even get meet the demand for PS5s at this point, right? And, you know, um, China, where these factories are, these things are made, they take this shit way more seriously than we do. So there are way more, like, just straight up lockdowns, no one's going to work, and that has obviously set back. Uh, the availability of microchips for everything. I mean, try getting your car fixed right now if you have a car with like an onboard computer kind of thing. It's it's not happening quickly. Was that a dare, by the way? Or do you want me to dare me? Yeah, to go uh, to I, I dare you, Arky. Um, I want you to go to a dealership, get right up in a guy's face. And yell that you know your rights. <laughs> and, and the guy will respond, there's, there's nothing wrong with this car. It's like, that's not the point. Yeah, that's says you. <laughs> um wow okay so so yeah. yeah so so my wife and i made a deal my birthday is uh on the day this drops my birthday will oh. be a week away <laughs> and so it must remain in the plastic and be wrapped up for my birthday but one has been procured it is in my possession not on it, the way it has been procured it is physically inside your domicile it is. I read a column saying that, look, think about all of the things that these microprocessors have put a back order on. A, how far up the list or how far down the list do you think video game systems are going to be to get access mm -hmm. to some of these things? And well, as B, opposed to like bombs and stuff? Well, I mean, again, the aforementioned onboard computers for cars. <laughs> we could walk anyway yeah. all right fair uh but you know the other part was um there is going to be uh a you know it's not like they go back to work tomorrow and by friday we've got a whole new shipment of xbox uh or ps5s or xbox series whatever the new xbox is called like it's just not going to happen that quickly so this article i read the advice was 
when you see a restock alert, pounce. And if you cannot, if you really don't want to wait for whatever it is, the new um, uh, college football game, there's going to be a new, a big new Spider-Man game coming out, supposed to be next year. If you really don't want to wait and you find a price on eBay that you can live with and it seems like a reputable dealer, go for it. And that's what I did. What? Who wrote that article to convince you to do that? Kevin Sony? It was. Wow. Yeah, that, is a, yes. that is a good sell job <laughs> yeah. for, for, for that person. And that deserves a, like a, little, a little bit of a taste, right? A little wet the beak. Absolutely. Yeah, so I, I went ahead and sent him uh, 10% of the sales price just to say, <laughs> hey, good looking out. <laughs> good looking out. But yeah, I um, mean, like I was, I was purely motivated by, I don't want to be rushing to find this thing the week before the game comes out. Oh yeah, listen that that that's the thing. I I did I've read a couple of things about this, um, and only two, uh, but one of the things of the two uh, did say uh, that there is a plan to sort of flood the marketplace a little bit around the holidays mm-hmm. to get some of these out. But flooding it doesn't mean they're just going to be stacking up on your shelf and you and you're going to be able to find as many as you want. Right. I mean, remember they tried to flood the marketplace as best they could last Christmas season or I guess the month leading up to like through November and uh, through December. And I mean, good luck if you're not if you don't have a bundle in a shopping cart at walmart.com or at Amazon or, or any of these other sites 30 seconds after they drop, you're probably not getting yeah, it's it, it's tough, and you know maybe you know link me over to your your dealer. Um, but I, <laughs> I think that I think the fascinating part uh, about this is that you know I I know that there are a lot of games right that sort of come out and people are interested in and and you know just you know you're downloading the game off the off the cloud or something like that, but you still have to have the physical console to play. Right. The the. the that, the, the, the thing that scares me so much about this is having a little bit of an older but still newer-ish, mm-hmm. right, uh, Xbox, is that I don't know how soon I, prior to the launch of the game next July that I'm going to know if if I'm going to have to spend five, six, seven hundred dollars yep. on just a console. And again, it, for me, it's quite literally like four one game i have a handful of other games that i'm kind of interested in i'm in and out but that i feel obligated because i spent so much money or the wife spent so much money on a on a on a a system for me but man to to be able to have to wait so long to see if this was going to be compatible is like it's frustrating it's it's frustrating and it's annoying and i don't know like why or i don't know why we can't know yet if this yeah. is something that they're gearing towards, like later Series Xbox or PS4, PS4 I can understand not because PS4 has been out a long time, right? Like PS4 has been like a decade, right? P- yeah, about that. Let's see. I got my PS3 in 09, and by that point, PS3 was close to the end of its lifespan. So it had to be 11 or 12 that PS4 came out. Yeah. So, like, I can understand needing to go if you're a PlayStation dude, and by the look of the people who are listening to this podcast, you're all dudes. PS4, so you, uh, November of 2013. Yes. Yeah, so by the time this game comes out, it will be a decade. Yeah. So I can understand, like, obviously going from PS4 to PS5 and saying, you know, you could try. <laughs> right. <laughs> try <to> PS4, but <laughs> no promises here. But like the Xbox, they made it. They made a concerted effort to sort of advance a little bit over the last handful of years or so. To not until I'm not now. I know they have a brand new console, right? So yeah. I'm not oblivious to that. So, so I, didn't just invest, to, I didn't invest in the brand new like eight hundred dollar console. So, so that I was my that question. Was like, a, go ahead. Just to clarify, you have the Xbox Series X, not the Series S. I don't know that off the top of my head. To be Fair. honest with you. Uh, the X is the new is the brand new console, right? Is the new? I, I think the the S is the brand new one. I think is it the, is it the S man for two guys that are talking. Uh, doing a video listen, podcast, I, I'm going to be game. I'm going to be real honest with you. I think Xboxes are garbage uh, and uh, hey, have never hey, hey. really kept up with when they've come out. No, as someone who um, currently owns one, I yeah. feel obligated to defend them. Uh, I will tell you the entire my entire basis for Xbox's garbage. The the entire argument hinges on one fact, Arky. The uh-huh. controller feels weird in my hand. 
<laughs> the end. I don't need to know anything else about this garbage system. It's a Series S. It's not a Series X. Okay. The X is the big, blocky gotcha. real one. The Series S is like the thinner one. I just looked it up. Yeah, it's the one I got. So uh, let me. Nice. I like it, but you know, like it does what I need it to do, which sadly may not be in the new college football video game. Okay, so let me sort of pivot off of that a little bit because now, granted, to your point, a year will have passed, so that this could change the math, so to speak. But the new Madden which is not even out yet, which is absurd. And and we'll get into that in just a second. But it is going to be available on Xbox One and PS4. And those are the two previous generation consoles uh, that are out there right now. Okay. So would a year pass in a environment, in a market where there is not enough product out there, I would guess it's a pretty safe bet that PS4 and Xbox One are going to be serviced by NCAA 23. Or 24, oh, I guess. I, I, you know, by the way, kudos for using the word service. It does sound more sexual mm-hmm, than it should. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't, I think it's possible. I just don't think it's something I can bank on. Yeah, I mean, that's you know, like until, until, until I know a little bit more. But like, I may not know that till like spring, you know, or even later. And, and who, who freaking knows? Like, I mean, the, like, NCAA usually, like, if you go back and sort of, when you dig into it, like the mm-hmm. NCAA series usually gets some screen grabs sent out like post national championship, right? Like, yeah. like they, they like to start teasing it then, even though, you know, months and months away, they like to start getting you a little a flutter. That's why I think when the, uh, when the announcement came uh, from EA sports college, that uh, Twitter account, uh, it happened right after the national championship game, right. essentially. So like, it's kind of in line for how they've sort of been setting this up. Um, but I've never been in a position to need to know if this was going to be like on a system that's just obsolete, you know, that, 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 that I would not have, you know, and and, and, this is coming from a guy who had the PlayStation one way, way longer than I should have had the PlayStation one. And I mean, like when I first got it was when it was the itty bitty slim down version. Like I was past (laughs) the initial one when they made the smaller one. And then they'd already been making PS2s and you're already you're like yeah. moving on. But, you know, so like I'm not clearly on, on the forefront of this technology in general. I'm not a first adopter of all this technology. Uh, but I, I do I do severely worry that that would be doable because in the piece that the guy we're talking to, I don't know, should we even say who we're talking yeah, to? Yeah, just say week? who we're talking to. Yeah, we're talking to Brandon Marcello of 24-7 Sports, unless yeah. he cancels before we record. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we are, you- unless we are not. Which at this point we're putting them on notice. That's a big move. That's okay. right. That's so. right. I've said it for years. <laughs> yeah. So um, that this game is going to be sort of on the Madden engine, right? But it's going to have a bunch of tweaks to it. Yeah. It's it's going right. to have its very. It's going to have its own identity. But yeah, it's on the Madden engine. So I wonder if those tweaks that happen are just not able to be processed at the same rate. Probably, well, definitely not the same rate, but processed thoroughly enough to be able to get yourself uh, on the PS4. But let's also look at it this way. You, if you're into this game and it's coming out in 2023, like you're probably one of these guys that wants to have just the ultimate experience with it, right? Right. You don't want to even risk lag time. You don't want to even risk uh, glitches that aren't in the game itself that are because of the processing unit in, in, inside your console. So, you know, if you just want to not avoid that, but just to have the best overall experience, you're probably looking at upgrading the system if you don't already have a PS5 or the I, Xbox I, Series X. I will say this. I do think, um, given that PS5, the newer Xboxes, they they both dropped with a version that was discless, right? They both dropped with a mm-hmm. version that was download the games only. We were already in an environment where you could do that, going all the way back to the PS3, where you, there were games you could download. I would guess that the PS4 and the Xbox One would still be in play. Maybe not as a disc version. Maybe all you could do would be download it for those systems. But, I mean, what is what is the difference, right? Uh, probably just a couple of lines of code. Yeah, just a couple of lines. Did you say Coke or code? Both. I mean, okay. look, yeah. one leads to the other. Well, naturally, naturally. Uh, a little HTML action, is that what we're talking mm-hmm. about? That's right. Uh, WordPress represent. So here's, I think, another... Along those same lines, right? When I was looking myself at uh-huh. possibly 
looking at uh, not at myself, but when I was looking online for a possible uh, upgrade in the next several months of like the Xbox system, for example, right? I did see obviously, like you alluded to, the disc version and the non-disc version, and then in my head, I couldn't even make a choice there because I definitely would want to download the game from the from the from the cloud and from the servers for EA. Right. I would like to download all their updates from that. And I'm not saying this wouldn't be an option. I think I'm going to want the hard copy of that first game back. Like, I, I think I'm going to want to hold the plastic and, and, and to be able to open it. And that's a completely different price point. I will, I will tell you, it was the moral conundrum I had when I found a price on eBay I could live with was it was for the digital edition. And I really did think, God, I'm really going to miss buying games. Um, but that's what, you know, that, that was the, the price that I was willing to pay. That was the, uh, uh, for that price, that was the edition that was available. So here we are. Um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be, I think for all of us that love the game. And if you listen to this podcast regularly, of course you do like, you're going to want the edition from when it first came back. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I'm with you 100%. So one of the that's things, the thing, like, I I don't want to just buy games. I want to hold this one game. <laughs> yeah, like, I, well, like see, that's just something like I have the attachment to this game. That's not to why... Bioshock, not to Red Dead Redemption, not to Call of Duty, to this one singular game. And that's so, going to complete. That's going to cost me more money just for this, just to touch this one game. So that's the that's thing that, like, I uh, <laughs> I basically came to terms with was, all right. It's going to cost me an extra hundred dollars if if you bought it at market price. It's going to cost you an extra hundred dollars for the version of the PS5 that takes a disc. And then, what do you think that like the disc is probably going to be priced another twenty above the download? So, is the new oh, version yeah. of the game worth a hundred and twenty dollars to me just to hold? No. <laughs> Maybe that's the thing. Like, how much is that joy? Like, what joy do I get in my life? I mean, listen, I love my son and my wife. Pretty sure of that. Uh, but right? Arky, if I if I may, NCAA was in your life first. It, they, they, thank you. Like, yeah, no, that's I, not an argument I can make to them. Arky, you're the talking to the only first. guy that understands. <laughs> listen, <laughs> codes before hoes, right? Yeah, you get it. Right? You're cool. That's it. Like one, ones and zeros, baby. Mm -hmm. Now that argument doesn't work for my son, to be honest with you. Sure. Um, so, but I mean, he is a byproduct of the. Well, forget it. Don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah. No, I got um, you. So, so let me. By the way, if my wife is listening to this, you are wonderful. Mm. I agree. You are wonderful. I don't know what your name is, but you seem great. <laughs> uh, no the... one will know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Arky, I uh, asked people on Twitter, and then I screenshotted and shared it to other social platforms yeah, as you well. Did. What? What is your plan in July of 2023 if there's a game available for you, but there is no system available for you? Oh my God, Dimitri. I feel like I feel like we prepared for this. Yeah. Right? Um so it feels just... like if you are watching this on YouTube, it it feels like Arky and I had previous conversations to visually enhance the experience you're about to have. Yeah, so what you're about to see, screenshots, son. Yep. You're about to see screenshots. Now, one of them, I have no idea how big it's going to end up being on the screen because it's literally <laughs> okay. one word. Uh, <laughs> we will find out. Uh, we did not go through all the technicalities on this, but mm -hmm. we'll figure it out. Um, this is this is one where I think this is a common comment. We'll talk about it after it comes up on the screen and we talk about it. This from uh, at Nata the Scribe. Nata. Uh, not at so, so, sorry, it's your friend. You know who this is. At Nada the scribe who replied to you and said, "Fam, worry about it. If they actually announce a concrete date for it first, games are getting pushed back left and right." So I want to circle back with this to what I said about it being absurd that the new Madden is not out yet. That is that is incredibly late for the new Madden not to be out yet. It will be out on Friday. So we are pretty deep into the preseason at that point. Now, granted, new NFL calendar, things are, are different than the traditional calendar that we're used to. But this is pretty deep into the process before we're getting a Madden game this year. 
It and is. I can only assume this that exactly what Nada hit on is the reason why. Well, you know, let me also offer this to Nada as well, um, who is someone who I am uh, also friends with as of me just speaking it into existence mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nada, friend, um, a lot of things have been generally sort of pushed back, but I don't know if it's just because that. Here's the weird thing sticking with the NFL. The NFL right now on the NFL Network is doing its top 100 players. This thing's usually like wrapping up right now, and they just started it. Yeah. So, like, I don't know technically, like, what's keeping everybody like on a delayed timeline, but yet yeah, there is worry that it, that that there will not be, you know, a concrete date yet. But it's not as if this game isn't going to come, right? right? I, like, this game is going to be here, whether so, it's July or September. Or so, Arky, that's spring, you. It's coming. You, you have said something that I think gives me some relief because I saw not as a post that I really hadn't thought about like, holy shit, what if they delay it? Like it has almost become its own industry of following the news about this game, right? Our buddy, Matt Brown, you know, he told us on this show that like the most signups and clicks he gets is whenever he has new news to announce about this game. We He's started a podcast. On Twitter that he just hopes that uh, like he doesn't lose all subscribers once the game comes out. <laughs> right. Right. I think that there is enough like EA Sports recognizes that there is a, a big enough new revenue stream coming or returning when this game comes out that they are not going to push it back and push it back and push it back and push it back. Uh, I, I, I would be more worried we are going to get a there aren't enough copies out there version of the game uh, rather than see it delayed into 2024. But here's the thing, brother. You don't got to worry about it. You got yourself the magic, you know, uh, they say it's a cloud. It's more like a a nebulous thing that's outside. Uh Yeah. uh, I don't know where you keep all of that, but apparently up here. Yep. Way above where my brain is. Or below. You know, the, the cloud doesn't have to be upstairs. No, that's true. It could be from hell. It, well, I was, you know, warm air rises. There could be just like sure. a like a heat cloud, like right under, you know, from the magma, uh, mm-hmm. and from you know Satan, mm-hmm. uh, you know, the previously murdered uh, Hitler uh, from Call of Duty, whichever one it was. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching not the one been... where you could kill zombies, but the other ones. Have you been watching Sandman on Netflix? I have not. Uh, hell's on my mind a lot watching that show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> um. Deep, a little yeah. concerning, worth yeah. uh, worth discussing afterwards? Maybe, maybe. Like I, you know health. what? I, I'm just going to need you to be available to me via the phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got yeah. it. Uh, although I got no, I got the, uh, uh, was it uh, the, what's the mode that you got when you get, when you go on silent? No family mode? What is it called? Uh, sleep? No, Private sleep mode. Sleep. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Uh, yeah. The wife hates that mode because, you know, you get a little notification that says, hey, this person says, don't be bothered. He doesn't want to be yep. bothered, which is kind of a dick move, Apple, right? You, you would know it's even more of a dick move? Just put it on airplane mode sometimes, even when you're not on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> like, All right, sorry, here's another one. Right Here, here's another one. This comes from uh, Brandon, uh, Ed B. Darnell. Did I get that right? They, I, I believe it's pronounced Darnell. Sure. I actually don't know this person. Who cares? Uh, Brandon Thanks for says, listening, Brandon. <laughs> says... <laughs> Brandon, I like you, okay? I don't know if you follow me on, on the social media, but keep doing it if you do. Uh, buy on PS4, he said, then trade in for PS5 version once the console is available. Now, that's a little trick of huh? like, uh, you know, I mean, you know what's crazy I mean, trade is... in for like 40% on the dollar, maybe? Like, that's, would... that's kind of the thing, right? Like, there... There is a part of this that maybe this isn't such a big deal. Maybe we're thinking about this in terms of uh, July 2013 when the last version came out, when games weren't readily available to download in full. Maybe this mm-hmm. isn't a problem. We're, yeah, we are talking about two guys who, like, I'm trying to think of the last game I went out and bought. Like, I've, I've had a few bought for me. Like, I've had FIFA bought for me, yep. and I've had uh, Red Dead 2. Like, I've had, I think the last game I went and bought maybe the first Bioshock and that's, that's like college. I think the last game I went out and bought was NBA 2K 15. What year was that? 
Uh, oh nine. <laughs> oh nine. Wow, you got the, you know, you got the Jordan version then too, huh? That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, another one that came into your prompt was from a Jordan who says, "I'm holding out hope they release a PC version as well, but if they don't, I would imagine the game would be available on Game Pass at some point." But I do have a PS4 in addition to a PS5, so I think I have all the bases covered. Yeah, all okay. Right. Jordan, a little bit of a braggart there. That's about to say, all right, rich guy. <laughs> yeah, uh, all right. It's uh, it's interesting. Like, what are they going to do? Madden's got a Windows version that's out there. Well, that that's a huge. We don't talk about the PC version a lot on this. I think it's because we have like zero experience yeah. with it. But that is not a zero community. Arky, like, th- let there me are ask a lot a of people who love just the game. And now, since computers have gotten so much more firepower under them, yep. Hell yeah, man. Let me ask you a question. Did you ever play the mobile version? I know of it. I never played it. I played the mobile version for... Okay, so I played the mobile version in 11 when I got my iPhone, when I got my first iPhone, but it was an update of the 07 game because okay. the the version you could play, like you could test play, was um, Florida and Oklahoma in the Orange Bowl. Um it is it is virtually unplayable. Now, granted, we're talking about iPhone 4 technology at that point. So if a mobile version is out there, certainly you would think that it would be a great way to sell uh, EA branded. Have you seen those uh, things you can get for your phone that turn it into a game controller? I have. I've seen all the TikTok advertisements for it. Yeah, I would. <laughs> exactly. I would. I would imagine that'd be a good bundle to be selling. Uh, I, I I don't hate that idea because something we also don't talk about, which has been reported as a high strong possibility, is the mobile app version of this game, which would be just the updated version of this. But like Madden has it, like yep. it it just seems like another stream of revenue that EA would clearly want to be able to uh, prioritize for at least a little bit extra bang for their buck. But also, you know, it brought into another question. This is for a different podcast, but that's not technically. What you, if you were selling your name, image, and likeness to EA, it wouldn't technically be the same license, right? So, right. I do wonder. So, Madden actually has gotten away from the mobile version of the game, they haven't done one since Madden 21. Um, and that's and been forever, it's it's been <laughs> uh, at least a generation, Arky. Um, I you're, you're talking 1921, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I had thought about that of like, do these different platforms and I'm not talking about Xbox versus uh, PlayStation. I'm talking about gaming console versus PC versus mobile. Does that then change the math enough for EA to throw up their hands and go, fuck it. We're not doing it. Like it's going to be a console only game or it's going to be a mobile only game or something like that. Boy, you'd be, It was a mobile only game. I just oh, it's. I mean, like, I'm not saying that's what it's going to be. Like, I don't think it's going to be a mobile only or a PC only game. Can you? um, I might be rid of my phone if it was a mobile only game. Just that's how depressing that would be. Oh, so there's no way I'm just downloading it. Like, I have like one game on like it. I don't know, Jewel Runner or something. I don't know what I have on my phone as far Mm. as the game. Like, I have like nothing on my phone as far as games. That's boring to me. Come on, give it. Let me get on my big screen. Arky, let me uh, let me recommend Mafia Assassin. Okay, you may <laughs> recommend it, and I may ignore that because I do not uh, condone violence on this here podcast. All right, then let me uh, recommend Sling Drift. Okay, that sounds safer. <laughs> it's it's like imagine um, Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, but instead of Nas. Um, to rev up your engines, imagine there is no steering wheel and you have to lasso a post to turn the car. Okay, I'm, I'm in for at least a try. You Fast and Furious, Deadwood. Um, by the way, I, I have nothing on my phone. Uh, my mm. iPad, I have a bingo game. Oh, hello, just a mindless lose yourself for three minutes kind of at a time kind of game. Uh, <laughs> 40,000 tickets I have on there. That means nothing Ooh, in real life. Look at you. You're going to get the uh you're going to get the the smoking jacket for sure from the company. Hey, here's what I'm hoping for. Like I'll find the actual game that you can download that pays you to win. Right. All right, this is another comment that you got from your uh, prompt. This is from uh 
J R A Vanos, mm -hmm. uh, who says I, I don't know this person. I uh oh, wait a minute. Unfortunately, I feel like this is uh, the new normal for video game consoles. The first four to five years of their release moving forward. Retailers make little to no markup on consoles and then forcing the consumer to buy bundles, spending four to five hundred bucks more than the cost of the console itself. Bundles drop every day and you could find one relatively easily if you wanted to spend uh, the extra money. This is a thing I don't like. Uh, just to be honest with you, that like, I I I know it's been happening for a while. I, I remember getting Nintendo sixty four and getting Mario, a uh, Super Mario yep. or Mario sixty four with. It, I right? mean, look, going but all the way back to game. the original Nintendo, right? Like uh, the original Nintendo was packaged with Super Mario Brothers and a uh, 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 cartridge that was both Excite Bike and Duck Hunt. Yeah, and to be honest, it was their product that they were pushing. Right. Now to get sort of the game bundles where like it's a specific type of PlayStation five or design of the PS five yeah. with specific games and controllers. Like to me, that's taking away from my general supply of PlayStation. Please stop doing it. Uh, first of all, uh, because we just glossed over it, excite bike, one of the underrated video game soundtracks of all time. Okay. All right. That's fair. Boop, 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 boop. Um, and secondly, yeah, I mean, like there are, there are always, geez, I mean, talking Do about, you think there'll be a college football video game bundle. I don't think so because I don't know, like we'll see a Madden. That might be it. I mean, I would assume but in other markets we would see a be... FIFA. But the first one back is going to be massive. It would make a lot of sense. I mean, it really would. I'm not telling you it wouldn't make uh, a lot of sense, but I, I wonder from a mass appeal standpoint, um, you know. Mass appeal. This thing is – now, going forward, maybe not, right? But, yeah. like, for this first one, like, it's – I feel like I'm underselling it when I'm telling you they're going to sell 200 million copies. I think, like, Arky, you might be overselling it a bit. Oh, you're right. Because some people, will, okay, do they count the downloads as copies? Uh, I mean, yeah, but I mean, you got to remember, Arky, like uh, houses have multiple people in them. So like a hundred million seems more realistic. Oh, that's fair. We do a little like Nielsen rating, right? Like, yeah, okay, exactly. I, I get it. You get yeah, it. So. I mean, realistically, what, what, like, what do you think the top end for this is? I, I would say probably... Three million copies. Oh, I think three million gets sold easily. I think you, could, you might be able to get three and a half, but I think that's the very top of the ceiling. Okay, I, three and a half million would be a ginormous amount of copies. But like they were regularly doing over two, like when it was just blase, nothing much has happened with the game right. update. They were regularly doing two, 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 three, two ones. I, I think I, that there might be a lust for this game to come back that might get it over three. I'm not sure what the young mark is going to be versus the guys like us who remember playing it that want it back. So that's kind of my question. That. That, that's kind of my question of why I sort of hedge my bets on am I counting on a bundle is does do younger fans thirst for this the way we do? And are there enough fans that have the deep desire the way you and I do that are your and my age? I mean, I'm 41. I think you're 35, right? None of your business. All right. Um, either way, <laughs> like, are, are there guys our age? Well, I'll say my age, right? Like, it, when you're in your 40s, like, it is very tempting to think to yourself, I'm too old for this. I shouldn't be doing well, this anymore. I, I'll say this before we go on to our final screen grab. I uh, literally, I, we call it a scrab in the industry? <laughs> I, I literally, well, I'm not in the industry. Okay. I li I'm an outsider. Yeah. I'm here to disrupt the system. <laughs> um, so Why are you doing the Batman voice? <laughs> so um i forgot what i was gonna say oh, okay a butterfly um, what were you just saying it'll, it'll trigger me uh that uh in the industry we call them scrabs oh no before we were gonna oh get sorry game. uh I, it was just a, a matter of like are there enough is there a big enough population of this game's core fan base that will now feel like i'm too old to be oh yeah 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 I do not know anybody from my age, which is 30-ish, mm. uh, to their youngish 40s, right, that has sworn off video games. 
Okay, I mean, I know a few. Uh, not a, I, I, you're right. But it's like, a it's small not percentage a compared to like who will still dabble in them, right? And if the right game comes along, even newer games, people are like, it's not just you know your forty year old friends playing Tetris, you know, because they just couldn't for like want right. to relive the memories <laughs> of you know getting. getting I mean, the- look, I understand. Like, there's a whole there are a whole bunch of us that cannot wait to just absolutely smoke our sons' asses at this game. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know, I'll like for- that by the way. All the revenge for all of the embarrassing eight to nothing losses in FIFA. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be like hell is going to rain down upon this boy when the game comes out. By the way, before but, we get the last screen grab, do you have a game that will play in your new PS5? So when you can open it, is there something you can actually put into play? Or are you going to use it like a DVD player for? <laughs> Oh no no I've I've got the uh, I've got the download version the 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 full oh that's right you're gonna like you know go to Voodoo TV or something Arky buddy don't think I'm not downloading that Kitty Cat game (laughs) okay fair (laughs) enough (laughs) okay final screen grab which I think is the one that makes the most sense when we're talking about this game and really it's summed up in one word it's uh from Matthew who says steal yeah yeah I mean it's the best way to live yeah so you know uh I mean I, I know. It's easier in some places like California. Sure. You know, like it's easier just to go in, grab, walk away. You might get like video recorded, but mm-hmm. eh, like if you're not going to have anything happen to you. Yeah. Find a record. store with a no chase policy. Go for it. That's right. No chase. We're just going to chase that bag on the games when we chase. Damn right. That's right. So, Dimitri, I, I, I feel like that our concerns are still there after all this. All of yours Absolutely. are not. You, you have the PS5. Yeah, I've, I've got mine. The hell with the rest of you. Just does it come with just one controller? Do you have two? It does. Okay. Listen, if the boy wants to play, it's up to him to solve his problem. Okay, I understand. I think it's I think it's fair. I think it's bogus. The game that like if you don't have, you should build in the price with the game having two controllers. Agree. Hey, you know what? That is kind of the advantage of these bundles is you got a game to play and you got someone that can play it with. <laughs> or I guess you have the ability for someone to play it with you. I've not seen a bundle that comes with a best friend yet. Uh, well, you might see one with the college football game because I'm willing to tag my name to that and be your best oh, friend. Oh, the Archie Shea edition. That's right, where I just talked to you the whole time about uh, being the Georgia State head coach. I uh, Once I make it there one day, I'll get there one day, but I'm Archie, not going to take your job right now, coach. I genuinely love the idea of just having somebody record, like, director commentary over the game, <laughs> just some average Joe, just shit-talking all of your play choices. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You know, the last three times you ran the ball, you lost six yards. Yeah. Shit. Oh, see, I was going to say, oh, triple <laughs> option again, huh? The only pussies <laughs> cheat like that. <laughs> uh, oh, fourth of 17, you're punting? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Dimitri, that's going to do it for us on this year's podcast. Uh, but thank you guys for being aboard. We look forward to having you on next week for another great podcast, Ooh. which we'll talk about more of the news that we're learning, and we'll dig deep. You know how we do with these interviews. We get deeper than what the people actually report because we know what to ask. Damn right. Dimitri, so I'm done. Why don't you say something nice to the good people? Saving some to next week, everybody. <laughs>